So just another video with a bit more detail to show what we do to get our bores right. So the few critical measurements that we're after is that we want them to be round, we want them to be straight, and we want the right surface finish. So one of the key components to start there is use a torque plate, which there's one down there and there's another one here. So what that does is when you apply torque to the bolts, they're gonna pull the block slightly. So if we were to do it like this, without a torque plate and make them perfectly round, as soon as we go to assemble the engine and bolt a cylinder head to it, they're gonna distort a bit and no longer be round. So we start by putting a torque plate on it, simulate the distortion that it'll have when we assemble it, and that gets us in the zone for doing a good job. So from there, we use a dial ball gauge. This is the Sunnen gauge each increment is one tenth of a thou. So extremely precise, very nice unit. That gets set in a master fixture also made by Sunnen to make sure that it's reading the exact measurement that we want it to read. And normally we'll set that to our finished bore size so that we can creep up on it. So once we've honed it out, we're nice and straight, nice and round. Um, the last thing that we want to check is our surface finish and just make sure we're in the spec. And a lot of that's through technique and what stones and that we use, but all piston ring manufacturers will normally specify an RA number. So in this case, they're specifying for a, a 15 to 35. So we're talking microns. It's such a tiny measurement that we're looking at. Um, so to do that, we have this tool, which is called a profilometer. So we have our tool here, and on the end of this is a tiny little needle. It probably won't even focus, but it's absolutely tiny. And that will automatically, when we put it in, will pull itself along and give us a reading. So this still has the data saved from my last reading. So I'll just turn it on so we can show what it is. So. There's a lot more to a reading than just the RA. You got the RVK, RPK, and a lot more, but we're just gonna focus at the moment on the RA, which is what most ring manufacturers will specify. So they're saying 15 to 35. Ours came in at, if I can, oh, what's it doing? 23.83, so right in the middle of where we wanna be. And then we'll go through all our other numbers for our RVK and RPK, and that, that really helps um, with oil retention and the peaks for breaking in a ring. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that.